For this type of center line, I'm going to float a pulmonary artery catheter. So I'm going to need a type of central catheter that has an introducer port right there and right there. So I've already uh, found the IJ with my finder needle, so I'm just going to go in through that same spot. Hold negative pressure here. Always make sure that you're occluding any kind of catheter directly into the vein when it, so it's not open. So now I hook up my uh, tubing here and I raise it up. And that looks venous to me. If it were arterial, this blood would be uh, coming up. One last thing that you can do to really make sure that this is truly venous is to transduce the waveform and you need someone that's, uh, you need an assistant to be able to do that. So I'm going to hand that to you and go ahead and hook it up to our transducer and we'll look at the pressure. Pressure is good, so this thing is venous, I can now take this off. So I take that off, go ahead and get rid of that for me. Now that this wire is back in, it's time to float our central catheter, so I'm going to load my cordis here with the dilator. And then when it gets to right here, there's a couple of points that I want to make. Number one, you should never insert this central line in until you've grabbed the wire on the opposite side, okay? Number two is this is going to meet a lot of resistance there at the skin, so you're going to need to make a small nick with the scalpel. Now that line is in, so now I can remove the dilator and the Seldinger wire. Alright, once that's in, I'm going to need my assistant to flush this line for me and hook up fluids. So that part's no longer sterile, I can't touch that anymore. Okay, so now that's not sterile anymore, so I'm just going to cover it with this blue drape. Okay, now that uh, that's sewn into place, it's time to float our swan, so I need an assistant here to help me. And, man, I'm going to give this to you. That's yours. Now, while he's taking care of that stuff, I'm just going to put this uh, cover, sterile cover, over the swan. All right, so I'm going to hook up this syringe to the balloon port, the red port right here. Now I'm going to hook up this saline to the white port. Now I'm going to hook up my CVP tubing to the blue port. And then I'm going to hook up my PA tubing to this yellow port here. All right, brother, let's test the balloon. Balloon up. Okay, balloon's good. Deflate the balloon. Okay, go ahead and flush my white port, please. And I can see that it's flushed. Okay, so now that that's flushed, go ahead and hook up my infusions. My infusion tubing here to the stopcock. I'll open the stopcock. Okay, now go ahead and flush my CVP, please. Okay, looks good. Go ahead and flush PA. Okay, looks good. We're ready to float this thing. Let's do it. 
Okay, so I'm just ready to float this now. Why don't you go ahead and inflate the balloon for me? Balloon is now up. Okay, so now we're going to look at our pressure waveform to guide where this is as we advance. Okay, so right now you can see them in the right atrium. So I'm just going to advance here slowly. Watch for waveform changes. All right, looks like I'm in right ventricle now, so I'm going to keep advancing. Okay, that looks like PA because my diastolic pressure went up. And it looks like I've wedged right there. I'm going to stop right there. Okay, so once that's floated, I'm going to put that cap on. We're ready to go. I can take this drape off. All right, now I'll take a sterile opsite, please. Prevent uh, infection. There we go. We're ready to go.